Before we continue with the video, if you like what I'm doing here on this channel, please consider subscribing. It helps the channel a lot. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Welcome back to my Create an RPG series. In this episode, we will be creating another magic ability for our magic user, just so I can demonstrate another way you can approach creating abilities, uh, or another aspect that is freely available now that we have put up the functionality that we currently have. So let's just jump into it. Um, in our abilities, we can go to our fireball and we can just duplicate this and we can call this one BP and magic bolts. And for all of its functionality and stuff like that, we can leave it as it is. Um, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going where we have our uh, montage currently. So this is the montage that we play for this ability. So let's find a, another montage essentially that looks slightly different. Um, maybe this one. This one will be fine, I think. Uh, and we'll create a montage of that. And we'll keep the name, it should be fine. Uh, marking that one, we'll go back to our magic bolt and we'll replace the any montage for the ability. And what we will be doing now is essentially we're going to be saying uh, we want to have something that spawns multiple projectiles. Um, and it's very easy for us to do that now currently because uh, remember we have this uh, ability Apex Notify. So if we go into the other um, montage, we can just add these Apex Ability Notifies and like have them at different places uh, and we might even want to have them like fire off closely um, to each other so we can insert another track so we can have them something like this maybe so actually let's make sure that we match the animation so uh, everything from this point maybe so let's say this one and maybe that one over here and then this one we can drag over here or something so we'll fire an ability there, an ability here, and then an ability here, and then we start pulling back. So how will that look then? Well, let's go to our character. And currently we are the warrior class, but we'll play around with it for now. And uh, let's see, where do we have our abilities? Here we go, starting abilities. So we have the slash and we have the fireball that we're just debugging with right now. So let's change the fireball to be the magic bolt instead. And if we play now, you can see that we have this effect of, we're doing the animation and then we have three different bolts that blow out. And then you can also keep rotating if you want to and have them hit slightly different places. So that's just one way to show you how you can just like add functionality and have multiple uh, objects trigger in the notify windows if you want to. So now we could, for example, if we want to go back to our character and make it so that our warrior has to slash and multi slash. And we can go to our other character, our mage, open it up and find its abilities. And uh, we hear, no, starting abilities. So we can say fireball and, oh, that's not what I wanted to do. And magic bolts. So now if I start as my warrior character here, now I have the first slash, I have the multi slash. Those are the attacks that are available to the character currently. And if we were to have the mage instead, so we'll just mark him here, right click over here, replace. And we will make sure also that he's being possessed by us. Player zero, come on, you can do it. There we go. And then we play and you can see that we have the animation for the fireball. We also have the blend space for the mage. And we also have the magic bolt. So that's just some examples of, of some easy abilities that you can build and then uh, build upon further if, if you want to as well. Now currently uh, this ability, magic bolts, is also because we have set it like exactly like the fireball will have a, 
an explosion radius. Maybe you wanted to have it without an explosion radius so that it just does. That's the wrong ability. Uh, so it does uh, these um, abilities uh, only to the target it actually hits. So if we were to find our character over here, for example, and we can throw our abilities, he should have been hit now multiple times, hopefully. Uh, let's see here. He's being a real meanie hitting me. So you see, he's at minus 50, so all three bolts hit him, and uh, each projectile will carry the payload of the damage. So he took a 150 damage hit, essentially, there. Um, so yeah. And we can make him stop hitting me for a bit. Now let's do some cleanup here. So we have this function, or we don't have this function. We have this part of code here, which is currently being duplicated in all of the uh, abilities. So what one could do, and maybe we should do, is we could have a ability that is because these ones are inheriting from abilities we could have another step that's like common between different magics that are related to bolts that are creating projectiles so they these two would have a common um, ancestor and then that one would have some common functions so that we wouldn't have to do the same thing in all the different uh, uh, projectile uh, magic abilities essentially and we could for example store this in a uh, in a function um, so let's do that actually so we'll do we'll create a duplicate of one of the fire bolts or magic bolts doesn't matter which one so it's like on the same level as them and we'll say magic Magic projectile ability, like so. And in this one, we can go and then take this code and create a function for it, like so. And we can call this function uh, something better, like um create projectile stats for example uh, we want to make this one pure so that we can just have a handy little uh, node like this and inside of this function this is what we have so we can clean this up a little bit but essentially we have all the code that we uh, mentioned before so you would be essentially having this code as the default, like so. Uh, and now we can go to our magic bolt and we can say reparent. Before we do that, make sure to save everything because sometimes this sort of thing could crash things and that's not good. Uh, so we go to file and we go reparent blueprint and we say uh, BP magic uh, projectile ability. So we, we're going to change from BP ability up here to magic projectile ability, which will break most of these things here. Uh, however, we do have a function now. If we go and say, can it not see it yet? Okay, let's um, let's disconnect this for now. Compile. Okay, and we did save this right. Create projectile stats. Uh, 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 uh. Then we go back to magic bolts and we type in uh, projectile. Did hmm. Public pure compile save. That should be fine. Why is it not showing up? I'm definitely getting the sense that something is bugged out. So let's do this methodically. We go to our uh, function that we just created and we will control X this. 
just so we can put it back into our uh, event graph so we have it saved then we'll get rid of the function for projectile stats and we will get rid of the function over here as well compile and save and we go to our magic bolts we are trying to get projectile stats we cannot call it okay so everything is like before let's try and add a function manually get project maybe that's the problem we have a we could have had a conflict because we have could be a naming problem actually uh, let's call this um, create I, I don't remember what we called the one before uh, let's call it create projectile stats um, like so and we'll make it so that we go to the event graph and we now we can copy this for now so we leave it here as well so it's copied here and then we'll do a return we'll hook this one up here like so um, yeah that that makes more sense i think so um now we can get projectile stats over here let's make sure to make it a pure function again like so and see if we can get it in the magic bolts now so create projectile stats now it appears so that's good uh, so now we can do this essentially and we can remove this from the magic bolts it must have been that i had named it to something identical that we already have named and it got confused when we started reparenting things um, so we can remove this extra superfluous stuff here as well and we can go and fix our fireball reparent that one as well <clears throat> dp projectile ability and we can get rid of this compile save create projectile stats like so so now all you need to do in, in a projectile um, function is essentially make sure that you have the this one uh, changed to whatever you need or it will be driven by your variables whichever you prefer of course um, anyway that's that part actually let's uh, comment that as well so we go to this one <clears throat> and we'll say uh, creates a projectile payload uh, structure like so and this one is super clear I would say <clears throat> so actually in our let's see here in our fireball we go in here I mean the magic projectile ability now that I clicked in so yeah we don't have it overloaded it's going to be the default one so that's good um, yeah I think that might be a good point to stop for now so I hope to see you in the next episode hopefully you found this video helpful if you liked the video leave a like if you did not like it leave a dislike leave any suggestions or comments you have down below subscribe and share this video if you want to see more like it in the future that is all for now keep on learning take care